This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm going to compare two entry level cross pins. I've got the Cross Aventura, which is a $15 plastic pin, and I've got the Cross Calais, which is a $20 metal pin. Now, these I got these pins from my sister's fountain pen collection. And I'm going to do a writing sample first, and then I'll talk about, I'll compare the features of each pen. Now, this pen, um, I refilled one of the ink cartridges. Um, the cross pens use a proprietary ink cartridge, and I refilled this one with Eroshizuku Kampeki. Let's see. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And it puts down a pretty broad line. Okay, and the Cross Calais, I've just got one of the black ink cartridges that came with it. Both of these are medium nibs. This one's the coated, black coated nib. It's a n nice looking nib. Okay, let me compare this one more time. This one's really smooth. I didn't know what to expect. Sometimes people talk about coated nibs. Um, not being very smooth, the coating sometimes makes it a little feedbacky. All right, this one I did a little work on this one. I don't know if something had happened to it, if my sister had dropped it or bumped it or something. It was it felt a little rough. I looked at it under a loop and the tines were aligned perfectly, so I just ran it over some micro mesh, and now it's quite a bit smoother. Let me try this one more time. Let me compare these two. Yeah, they're about the same. So, writing wise, these are both decently smooth nibs, pleasant to write with. The broad side of medium. I noticed, um, I think this ink that comes in the cross cartridges is a decently wet ink. Uh, it, yeah, I, I think it's just a decently wet ink. So it's very pleasant to write with, very smooth. Now, so nib wise, you know, both very adequate. The, of the two, I like the Calais the best. And number one, just looking at it, I, I like the shape of it. I like the size, shape. Um, this one's a little, it's plasticky. It feels a little bit lighter weight. It's not balanced very well. The cap's kind of heavy, uh, even though it's made out of plastic. It's, I don't know, it's got a little bit of a dated look. Um, this little piece on this pen just spins around. Now, my sister has a blue Aventura, and it, this is, you know, set, so you can't spin it. So I don't know, like I said, that maybe she dropped this one. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask her. Or maybe it just came from the factory like that. 
not sure um so the fit and finish of this is not great and it's just i don't know the the diagonal what's the the oblique some cap i don't know it i just like the look of this one better uh this one's a little more modern looking i would say um i i do not like this chrome this is chrome covered plastic this section and it is just incredibly slippery I, it's so slippery i find it difficult to write with it uh, i would hate to write more than just a short note with this just writing that much i was ready to put it up now this has the same, the Calais has the same shape grip, and it's plastic, but it's not coated. It's, it doesn't have that uh, chrome coating, and this is very grippy. It's, this is a, a very pleasant pen to hold. The balance is nice. I don't like that it doesn't post. Posting's not an option, um, but it fits in my hand well. The cap, the edges on the cap are a little bit, not rough, just sharp. Uh, I wish that was a little more well finished. And I've mentioned this before, the cap doesn't, doesn't snap. It's got a shallow snap. It's the best I can describe it. But it's secure. Well, I pulled that apart. It's... It's relatively secure, I would say. And I like the look of it. I like the contrast of the shiny black and the matte black. Um, this one posts a little more securely, it feels like. I'm just not as fond of the overall look. And I just really do not like the chrome section at all. That's one thing I'll have to ask my sister if that... if that bothers her any at all. Um, these use a proprietary cartridge, which I do not like. I just installed this one, uh, and it, the shape of the cartridge, it gets more narrow down here at this end, and just, if I left it wider and let it fit more snugly into this housing, I'd feel a lot better about it. Um, this one that I refilled... I'm a little reluctant to open this one up. Um, I do this a lot. I, I refill cartridges. But this one, when I slid it on there, did not slide onto the post. It didn't feel very secure. So I hope this one doesn't come loose inside the barrel. But I, I like this one. I want to write with it a little bit more. I'm not sure. Let me see. Let me check the back of the package if... I'm not sure if you can get these in. Well... They may come in a medium and a fine. It says on the packaging that this one's medium, medium black. So maybe you can get them in a fine. This is a little bit broad for my taste. I usually uh, prefer fine nib pens. And even uh, the medium sailor that I have is a little bit... Let me show that one more time. It's a little... Um, not as broad as this one. I'm going to see how this paper performs also. Or how the ink yeah, 
it's a decently behaved ink it's, it doesn't bleed through the paper um, but I do I kind of like the look of this one Yeah, that, that's that's a pretty smooth nib. Um, in one of my previous videos, I wrote with my sister's Faber-Castle grip, and I said that I liked that nib, the Faber-Castle, better than these cross nibs. And I don't know. when I'm Now that I've smoothed the, this one out and these two write pretty much the same, this one has, it's more of a, glassy smoothness and the fabric castle has more of a it's it's like they both have the same amount of smoothness but the fabric castle has a little more drag not roughness not scratchiness just more friction on the paper and I tend to prefer that it gives me a little more control in my writing but this is this is very pleasant to write with and I don't know let me write with the Aventura one more time. Yeah, the slippery grip just ruins the experience for me. So, that is something... Um, if you don't like slippery grip sections, look for one that uh, doesn't have the chrome. Look, just the raw plastic would be your best bet. The raw plastic is very pleasant to write with. And when they come in the packaging, um, it's open so you'll be able to see it. The cap is off to the side. So you'll be able to see if you have what material the section's made out of. All right. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.